now that you set up your network switch and you plugged in your sender and your four receivers to your TVs and also to the network switch, it's time to configure the video wall. So what you're going to want to do is change the IP address of the network connection so you can log in to the transmitter. So again, I'm going to Ethernet 3 properties and I'm going to change it to match the IP address of the HDMI over IP address products. I'm going to put in 169.254.1. One two three, with the subnet mask of two five five two five five zero dot zero. Click OK, OK, close, close this down. In some cases, you'll need to install Apple Bonjour. Um, this already worked for me, so I didn't have to install it. So now I'm going to bring up Google Chrome, and I'm going to log into the transmitter. And that would be HTTP colon backslash backslash AST3 dash gateway dash zero 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 dot local. And the four zeros come from the dip switches set on the transmitters and receivers. You want to go to video wall. And you're going to want to go down to show OSD and you can see um, the screens there. So zero one three two. Now here under wall size and position, you're going to do, it's a two by two. You want to apply that to all. Now we're going to start with screen zero. So we're going to go down to client zero and that is row position one column position one going to select apply now we're going to go over to one and that is row position one column two we're going to click apply now we're going to go to screen three and that is row position two column one apply and last is number two and that is two two now from there you can see that the two by two video wall has been set up uh, up here is where you can the bezel and gap compensations are set up here you can also go into change IP addresses. You can enable serial over IP, um, the baud rates for the RS-232. Uh, many little options you can do. If you have any questions, give us a call. 800-841-9238. Thanks.